let's begin with another main and last topic relating to uh, teaching reading skills that's 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 another important topic and in this topic the main topic uh, we will have subtopics like uh, the first topic is the introduction and then uh, we'll discuss some of the features of research informing second language reading so our focus will be discussing to what extent research research evidence based studies empirical studies can better inform our approach towards teaching second language reading so this is an introductory module where we will just look at what we're gonna um, discuss uh, under the main heading of research informing second language reading so in this context uh, in this regard we will continue to see the cog the role of cognition uh, the mental processes of readers so we will continue to see how reading is seen as a complex phenomena which involves so many cognitive processes psycholinguistic processes or uh, psychosocial processes going on in the minds of the readers so unlike speaking and listening reading is much tough to acquire because speaking and listening may be developed through the environment through interaction through listening through a lot of input but reading is not like seen um spe like speaking skill rather it's it's acquired it it requires a lot of effort a lot of cognitive process uh, on the on the part of the second language readers so we will continue to see the role of research taking place in the domain of first language and how it has helped inform our understanding of teaching second language reading so we will continue to look at the role of teaching in terms of teaching second language reading and teaching of reading as a complex matter so there are a lot of variables and in this regard we will look at the most important variables to what extent reading is um, influenced by age factor for example to what extent young learners tend to become proficient and fast readers as compared to old and ad learners at much more advanced levels and what's the relationship between first language and second language to what extent first language can intervene or facilitate the process of second language reading and what's the role of motivation in terms of in terms of developing reading skills and we'll continue to see the cognitive processing factors for example anxiety depression um, motivation uh, the mental processes um, the psycholinguistic processes um, effective filters um, for example uh, teacher factors to what extent teachers are trained in terms of training students read well and efficiently and what's the role of the curriculum and materials this is important and we will continue to look at the instructional setting and institutional factors so um, the reason why we have taken up this main topic of research informing second language reading how research how empirical studies can help stretch our understanding about how to teach well second language reading is that the rationale is because we may we may have our own personal opinions but it's important to compare our personal opinions with the opinion coming from evidence based uh, studies so we will look at how 
how reading actually varies from learners to learner and to what extent the role of teacher is important in terms of developing reading skills so through this main topic we're going to trace how research can help help us understand the phenomena of second language reading or the phenomena of second language reading instruction so we'll continue to see some of the variables and we'll see what research actually says about these variables